Hello, my audience. I'm Junior Yi from the University of Queensland. I'm glad to share our recent work with you. The title of our work is Self-Supervised Multi-Channel Hypergraph Convolutional Network for Social Recognition. And this work is finished by researchers from four institutions. As you know, recommended systems often suffer from data sparsity issue since users only consume a tiny fraction of items. Social relations are the type of side information which can be readily collected often act as an antidote to data sparsity issue. According to the theory of homophony and uh, social influence, we know that users collected in the social network often share similar preferences. Upon the social theories, social recommendation systems are defined. The basic paradigm of social recommendation is that given social relations, social recommendation systems target at leveraging them to infer user preference and generate better recommendations when there is few user actual interaction data. Over the past decade, a lot of social recommendation models have been developed and show a stronger performance compared with traditional recommendation models. Recently, graph neural networks have achieved great success in a wide range of areas, owing to, the, to their power, powerful capability in modeling graph data, gene and space methods also have shown prominent performance in social recommendation. Despite the benefits of GNNs, however, a key limitation of these GNN-based social recommendation models is that they only exploit simple pairwise user relations and ignore the ubiquitous high-order relations among users. Although the long-range dependencies of relations can be captured from distant social labels by incorporating k user graph layers, these GNN-based models are unable to formulate and capture the complex high-order user relation patterns beyond the pairwise relations. Actually, there are some uh, common types of high-order relations, such as having a mutual friend friends purchasing the same item and the strangers but purchasing the same item in social recommender systems. And it is natural to think these relations are strengthened social strengthened social ties and if they are considered social recommendation performance can be further improved. Hypergraph provides a later way to model high order relations while its potentials for improving social recommendation are underexplored. In this paper, we fill this gap and propose a multi-channel hypergraph convolutional network named MHCN to uh, enhance social recommendation by leveraging high-order user relations. We first construct hypergraphs by unifying nodes that form specific triangular relations with underlying semantics, and then use MHCN to incorporate the high-order relations. Uh, each channel of the MHCN of MHC encodes a different hypergraph that can reflect user performance, performance uh, user preference. By aggregating the embeddings learned through multiple channels, we obtain comprehensive user presentations to generate recommendation results. However, it should be noted that the aggregation operation might also obscure the inherent characteristics of different types of high order collectivity information such as different, as since different channels would learn embeddings with varying distributions on uh, different hypergraphs. To compensate for the aggregating loss, we innovatively integrate self-supervised learning into the trailing of MHCN to regain the collectivity information with hierarchical mutual information maximization. Finally, we uh, unify the recommendation task and the self-supervised task under a joint learning framework for better recommendation performance. The contributions of our work are summarized as follows. We first investigate the potentials of fielding hypergraph model and graph neural networks in social recommendation by exploiting multiple types of high order user relations under a multi-channel setting. We then innovatively integrate self-supervised learning into the training of the proposed hypergraph convolutional network and we 
uh, finally conduct extensive experiments on multiple real world data sets to demonstrate the superiority of the proposed model. Now let's see the technical implementation. As you can see, our method includes three main steps, hypergraph construction, multi-channel hypergraph convolution, and the joint learning for recommendation and the hierarchical mutual information maximization. Next, we will present these steps one by one. To construct hypergraphs, we, uh, the first step is to formulate the high order information among users. We first align the social network and the user IT interaction interaction graph in social recognition systems and then build hypergraphs over this heterogeneous network. Under, uh, under existing models, which construct hyper edges by unifying given types of entities, our model constructs hyper edges according to the graph structure. In this paper, we only focus on triangular motifs because of the ubiquitous triadic closure in social networks. The figure shows all the used triangular motifs uh, which represent, represent the high order relations. We categorize them into three groups according to the underlying semantics, including social motif, joint motif, and purchase motif. With the hypergraph induced by the three types of triangular motifs, we adopt a three channel setting of MHCN and directly use the spectral hypergraph convolution to perform a two stage refinement on user embeddings. And the hypergraph convolution can be seen as performing a load hyper edge load feature transformation upon hypergraph structure. Before performing convolution, we use three self gates to control the information flow from the base user embeddings to each channel. As you can see, to perform hypergraph convolution, the agency matrices of hypergraphs here loaded by edge are indispensable. However, it is time consuming to list all triangular hyper edges with traditional methods, and we therefore provide an efficient way to calculate the hyper -edge, hypergraph adjacency uh, with B and U defined as the adjacency matrix of the uh, bidirectional and the unidirectional social networks. We can get the adjacency information in a matrix multiplication form. In our paper, we demonstrate why the equations hold. And in this way, we circumvent the individual hyper edge construction and induce a transformed hyper graph convolution. After propagating the user embeddings through multiple layers with the transformed hyper graph convolution, we average the embeddings obtained and each layer to form the final channel specific user representation. Then we use the attention mechanism to selectively aggregate information from different channels to form the comprehensive user embeddings. Besides, since we do not consider the high order relations among items, we perform simple graph convolution for items and uh, incorporate it into MHCN. Afterward, we obtain the final user and uh, item embeddings. Owing to the exploitation of high order relations, MHCN shows great performance. However, a shortcoming of MHCN is that the aggregation operations might lead to a loss of high order implementation information uh, as different channels would learn embeddings with varying distributions on different hypergraphs. Self supervised learning as an emerging technique that can learn inherent pattern of, of graphs with raw data recently has received considerable attention. Deep graph Infomax is a popular self supervised method that maximizes information between nodes and the graph to gain the structural information. However, we consider that the graph load mutual information maximization stays at a cost level. With the increase of the graph scale, the benefits brought by mutual information maximization may diminish. Recall that for each channel of MHCN, we build the adjacency to capture the high order collectivity information. Each row in it represents a sub hypergraph of the corresponding hypergraph centering around the user denoted by the row index. Then we can induce a hierarchy defined like this. Based on the hierarchy, we came up with the idea of hierarchical mutual information, uh, mutual information maximization with the intuition. 
that the comprehensive user representation should reflect the URL loads local and global high order connectivity patterns in different hypergraphs. And this can be achieved by hierarchically maximizing the mutual information between representations of the user, the user centric sub hypergraph, and the hypergraph in each channel. With the intuition, we define two readout functions which are permutation environment to get the sub hypergraph representation and the hypergraph representation. And then we follow deep graph informax and use info NCE as our learning objective to maximize the hierarchical mutual information. We consider that the user should have a stronger collection with the sub hypergraph centered with her. So we, we directly maximize the mutual information between their representations. By contrast, the user would not care all the other users too much. So we indirectly maximize the mutual information between the representations of the user and the complete hypergraph by regarding the sub hypergraph as the mediator. Finally, we unify recommendation and hierarchical mutual information maximization under a joint learning framework and present their objectives. We use BPR loss to optimize the recommendation task and incorporate the self-supervised task with a hyperparameter beta that can control the effect of self-supervised learning. Under this joint learning framework, the recommendation task can obtain significant performance improvement. To validate our method, we perform extensive experiments on three open data sets for social recognition. We also choose a set of strong baselines for uh, comparison. Three metrics are used to measure the performance and the hyperparameters are fine-tuned for fair comparison. We first show the performance improvement on both the general and the cold start case. As you can see, in both cases, MHCN shows the best results compared with the baselines. And the self-supervised MHCN shows a better performance. Particularly in the cold start case, the improvements are significant, which demonstrates that the necessity of integrating high order relations and the advantages of using self-supervised learning to mine the inherent patterns in hypergraphs. To validate if each module in our method contributes, we also perform the ablation study. By decoupling the module in our method, we can see that each shadow contributes. We further visualize the attention weights of each shadow and find that the partial shadow contributes the most while the social shadow contributes the least. It can be owed to the noises in the social network. We also investigate the proposed hierarchical mutual information maximization. The results show that both global and the local mutual information maximization take effect, but the former has a, a huge positive impact while the latter contributes less. Even so, using any of them can show better performance compared to the Valina version. We also can conduct parameter sensitivity analysis to test the influence of hyperparameters. The experiments show that when beta is 0 0.01, self-supervised MHCN shows the best performance on all the data sets. A larger beta could lead to a heavy drop of performance. Besides, a two-layer setting can lead to the best results on all the data sets. That's all about our work. Thanks for listening. Uh, please refer to the paper for technical de details, and uh, we also release our implementation on GitHub. Thank you all.